This is Nine News. Good morning and welcome. I'm Charles Croucher. A war of words has erupted between the federal and Victorian governments over the state roadmap out of lockdown. Daniel Andrews is defending his plan after Scott Morrison voiced his blatant disapproval while praising New South Wales for its virus response. Here's political reporter Emma LaRouche. Two Queensland men are due to front court today, both charged with one count of murder. Police arrested the two 33-year-olds late yesterday as part of an ongoing investigation into the suspicious death of a 48-year-old man found in a Turinga home in Brisbane's southwest last week. Two drivers are fighting for life after a suspected high-speed crash in Sydney's west. Emergency crews were called to the carnage at Maryland's west last night where two cars collided. A woman believed to be in her 20s has been put in an induced coma with critical injuries. A pea plater will spend three years behind bars after driving the wrong way down Melbourne's city link and smashing into another car while drunk. Security cameras show the car going 120 kilometres an hour, dodging oncoming traffic before crashing. Miraculously, both drivers survived. And search crews will set out at first light as the rescue mission for two missing fishermen continues in South Australia. Planes have combed more than 4,500 square kilometres off the coast in search of the pair. They haven't been seen or heard from since they experienced engine troubles four days ago. Coming up this morning, Donald Trump's vaccine promise. Against all odds, a heart attack survivor meets the woman who brought him back from the dead. And a heartwarming story, proving age is just a number. You're watching Nine News Early Edition and these are our top stories. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has defended his roadmap despite disapproval from the Prime Minister as the economic toll of the state's extended lockdown is revealed. Reinforcements have been sent in to Ipswich Hospital as the cluster widens, sending more than 200 Queensland healthcare workers into quarantine. And the party goes on for Year 12 students in New South Wales with school formals given the green light. In a Labor Day conference, President Donald Trump has claimed a COVID-19 vaccine could be available before the November election. US correspondent Tim Arvia joins us now from Los Angeles. Tim, it's a huge claim. Tim, thank you. Still to come this morning, all of the day's sports news, including a career-best result for Alex Dimonor into the final eight at the US Open. The D's finals dream goes up in smoke, shocked by the Dockers. And Anthony Griffin's bold declaration after landing the Dragons' coaching job. We'll begin sport with some fantastic news out of Flushing Meadows this morning. Alex Dimonor has stormed into the quarterfinals of the US Open. Stay with us on Nine's early edition. All the weather details are coming up after the break. Taking a look at weather today and around the country today, partly cloudy and 24 in Brisbane, 24 also in Sydney, but there could be some smoke haze around. Tomorrow, Brisbane, partly cloudy and 24, rain in Sydney, wet also in Canberra with a top of 15, partly cloudy in Melbourne, Hobart searching for 15, Adelaide 20, Perth 21 and Darwin 36 degrees. That's all on Nine News Early Edition. Today's show starts now. <laughs> 